guys today i will be sharing how to make no bake mango cheesecake for the crust we need one fourth cup of desiccated coconut this is um, 25 pieces of marie or two cups of crumb biscuits and half a cup of butter so i um crushed my biscuits i added the um desiccated coconut and now i'm adding the half a cup of melted butter we're gonna mix this until it resembles like wet sand, just like this. And now, um, this is my um, spring form pan that I've lined with parchment paper at the bottom and on the sides. We're just gonna um, compact the biscuit crumbs into this. Just like this. Now we're gonna put this in the fridge while we move on to the next step. So I've got three mangoes in here and three tablespoons of sugar. But all in all, I use four tablespoons of sugar. So I've cut the mango and now I'm removing the skin from the mangoes. And then we're just gonna um, blend this to puree it. Just like this. Um, I added one tablespoon of um, water just to help the blender um, process this or puree this quickly. And this is what it looks like. It's a little bit over um, 400 ml. Now we're just gonna um, strain this to get rid of some of the fibers. You don't have to do this, but it, I just wanna make sure that the cheesecake is smooth. So all in all, the pureed mango is about one and a half cups. So that all of us will be the same. Now we're gonna cook the mango. So, uh, in a pot, I'm adding the mango and the sugar. And now we're going to move on to the stove with the heat setting at the lowest. So, I've tasted the mango and it's not as sweet as I want. So, I added one tablespoon more. So, all in all, again, I use four tablespoons of sugar. Once it starts boiling, we can turn off the heat and let it cool down. Half a teaspoon of lemon zest and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Half a cup of sugar, two packets of cream cheese, which is 250 each. One mango, or you can add more if you want to. The one and a half cups of mango puree. One tablespoon of gelatin, unflavored gelatin. One fourth cup of water. And 300 ml of cream or thickened cream to begin we're gonna bloom the gelatin so we're adding the unflavored gelatin into the one fourth cup of water so mix this well and then we will set this aside so now we're gonna beat the cream cheese Make sure that the cream cheese is at room temperature again this is all in all 500 grams of cheese cream cheese and now I'm adding the half a cup of sugar continue mixing this until they are well combined occasionally stop to scrape down the side of the bowl and then continue beating Now we can add in the zest of lemon, about half a teaspoon. Now we can add the pureed mango. And then using an electric beater, we're gonna mix this until they are smooth and well combined stop and scrape down the side of the bowl now we're going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now 
add the chopped up mangoes again you can add more mangoes if you like now we're gonna um whip up the cream until it um forms peaks Just like this. Remember the gelatin. We're gonna melt this in the microwave for about 10 seconds or until the gelatin is dissolved. Just like this. And then we're just gonna temper the gelatin with a little bit of the cream cheese filling. So it doesn't set quickly. So And it cools down as well. Now we're gonna add the whipped cream into the um, cheesecake, mango cheesecake batter using the folding method. And this is now ready. Gonna add the gelatin. Gonna transfer the cheesecake into the spring form pan. If you find that there are some of the whipped cream that you failed to mix, you can mix it here. Just make sure that you don't mix um, underneath or you're gonna ruin the um, crust or the cheesecake crust. Give it a light tap before putting it in the fridge. Now we're gonna let this set in the fridge for an hour while we move on to the next step so i've got mango jelly here this is optional so i'm adding it into one cup of boiling water and then mix it and then i'm gonna add 100 ml or ml of cold water the instruction says to add 200 ml of cold water i'm adding less so the um, jelly sits firmer so after about an hour we're gonna add the jelly the cheesecake needs to set a little bit but not fully so we're gonna add the gelat the gelatin or the flavored jelly the flavored jelly should be cold by now because it has time to cool down and then we're gonna let this sit in the fridge for about six hours or best overnight. I'm gonna finish adding my jelly in the fridge so it doesn't spill. After overnight, this is what the um, mango cheesecake looks like. Now it's time to, to release the spring form pan. Now we're just gonna peel off the um, parchment paper. And this step is optional, you don't need to do this. This is a um, flaked almond that I'm toasting. We just need to toast this until it turns um, light brown. You have to keep on stirring or else it will burn. And this is what I'm after. Now to cool it down, I just put it in a parchment paper. Now it's time to put the flaked almond on the side of the um, cheesecake. Again, this is optional. You don't need to do this. And this is the finished product. I hope you give this a try. This is so easy to make. And I can guarantee that you're gonna love this. Christmas is coming soon. Maybe you wanna serve this for Christmas. And just to show you what it looks like when you cut the cake.
this cake is so light and the sweetness is just right you'll never be disappointed making this especially when you get the right mango again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next week bye